The Sword in the Stone, Origins of a Myth. The most famous tale of Excalibur is The Sword in the Stone. This story tells of a young Arthur, unaware of his royal lineage, who pulls the sword free from the stone. This act proves his worthiness to be king. The sword becomes a symbol of his divine right to rule. This story highlights Excalibur's magical nature. It is not a sword forged by human hands. It is a gift from the other world. The stone represents the ancient magic of Britain. Only someone worthy of wielding that magic can draw the sword. Arthur's success proves his connection to the land and its mystical power. The sword in the stone is a powerful metaphor for leadership. True leaders are not born but made. They prove themselves through acts of courage and selflessness. Arthur's humility and determination make him the rightful king. The sword serves as a constant reminder of his responsibility to his people. The image of the sword in the stone is iconic. It has been depicted in countless works of art and literature. It is a testament to the enduring power of this origin story. The tale continues to inspire us to strive for greatness and to believe in the power of destiny. The Lady of the Lake, another tale of Excalibur. Another prominent origin story for Excalibur involves the Lady of the Lake. This mysterious figure is a powerful enchantress. She dwells in the mystical realm of Avalon. In this version, Arthur receives Excalibur after losing his first sword in battle. The Lady of the Lake presents him with the new blade. This story emphasizes the magical origins of Excalibur. The Lady of the Lake represents the other world. She is a guardian of ancient knowledge and power. By gifting Arthur the sword, she bestows upon him a powerful tool. This act also connects him to the mystical forces of Britain. The Lady of the Lake story adds another layer to Excalibur's symbolism. It represents the cyclical nature of power. Arthur loses his first sword, symbolizing the loss of innocence and the harsh realities of leadership. The Lady of the Lake offers him a new weapon, a symbol of renewed strength and purpose. The Lady of the Lake is a captivating figure. She embodies the mystery and allure of the other world. Her role in Excalibur's origin adds a touch of enchantment to Arthur's legend. This story reminds us that even in times of loss, there is always hope for renewal. Excalibur's powers more than just a blade. Excalibur is more than a sharp piece of metal. Legends say it possesses supernatural abilities. The sword is said to be unbreakable. Its scabbard grants the wearer invincibility. These powers enhance Arthur's prowess in battle. They make him an almost unbeatable warrior. The magical properties of Excalibur elevate Arthur's status. He is not just a king, but a chosen champion. The sword's powers connect him to the divine. They represent the mystical forces supporting his reign. This reinforces the idea of Arthur as a righteous and just ruler. The invincibility granted by the scabbard is particularly significant. It highlights the importance of protection and defense. True leadership involves not only strength, but also safeguarding those under one's care. The scabbard symbolizes Arthur's responsibility to protect his people. Excalibur's powers add a layer of wonder and excitement to the Arthurian legend. They contribute to the epic scope of Arthur's story. These powers make Excalibur a truly extraordinary weapon. They solidify its place as one of the most famous swords in mythology. historical inspiration, the search for real-world roots. The legend of Excalibur is steeped in myth and fantasy, but some scholars believe it may have been inspired by real-world events. Some theories suggest that the sword's origins lie in ancient Celtic mythology, while others point to possible Roman influences. The Celts were known for their skilled craftsmanship, particularly in metalworking, crafting beautiful and deadly weapons. It's possible that a particularly impressive sword could have inspired the legend of Excalibur. This theory emphasizes the importance of craftsmanship and the power of objects to transcend their physical form. The Romans, who occupied Britain for centuries, brought with them their own military traditions and weaponry. A Roman sword, perhaps one belonging to a high-ranking officer, might have been seen as a symbol of power. This theory highlights the influence of conquest and the impact of foreign cultures on local legends. While the historical inspiration for Excalibur remains uncertain, exploring these possibilities enriches the legend. 
It reminds us that even the most fantastical stories can have roots in the real world. These theories encourage us to consider the historical context of myths and legends. Excalibur in literature, from Mallory to modern fantasy. Excalibur has appeared in countless works of literature, from medieval romances to modern fantasy novels, the sword continues to capture the imagination of writers and readers alike. Each author brings their own interpretation to the legend, adding new layers to Excalibur's story. Sir Thomas Mallory's Le Mort d'Arthur is a seminal work in Arthurian literature. It compiles and reworks many of the existing tales of Arthur, including the story of Excalibur. Mallory's version emphasizes the chivalric ideals of the time, portraying Arthur as a noble and courageous king. T. H. White's The Once and Future King offers a more modern take on the Arthurian legend. White explores the psychological complexities of Arthur and the other characters. His version of Excalibur emphasizes the burden of leadership and the difficult choices that come with wielding such power. Modern fantasy authors continue to draw inspiration from Excalibur. The sword appears in novels by writers like Marion Zimmer Bradley, Neil Gaiman and Stephen R. Lawhead. These authors often use Excalibur to explore themes of power, responsibility and the struggle between good and evil. Excalibur's appeal extends beyond the written word. The sword has been featured in numerous films and television shows, captivating audiences with its visual presence and dramatic potential. Each adaptation brings its own unique interpretation to the legend. John Borman's 1981 film Excalibur is a visually stunning and epic retelling of the Arthurian legend. The film emphasizes the magical elements of the story, portraying Excalibur as a powerful and otherworldly weapon. Borman's version captures the grandeur and tragedy of Arthur's reign. The 1963 Disney animated film The Sword in the Stone presents a more light-hearted and whimsical take on the story. This adaptation focuses on Arthur's journey from a young squire to a worthy king. The sword in the stone serves as a symbol of his destiny and the power of believing in oneself. Television series like Merlin and Camelot offer more contemporary interpretations of the Arthurian legend. These shows explore the characters' relationships and motivations in greater depth. Excalibur often plays a central role in these narratives, representing the power dynamics and conflicts that drive the plot. Centuries after its first appearance in legend, Excalibur continues to fascinate and inspire us. Its enduring appeal lies in its ability to resonate with our deepest desires and anxieties. The sword represents our hopes for a better world, our yearning for justice, and our fear of the corrupting influence of power. Excalibur embodies the ideal of a just and powerful ruler. It represents the hope for a leader who will fight for what is right and protect the innocent. This resonates with our desire for a world where good triumphs over evil and where those in power use their authority responsibly. The sword also serves as a warning against the corrupting influence of power. Arthur's story is a reminder that even the most noble intentions can be twisted by ambition and greed. Excalibur's power can be used for good or evil, highlighting the importance of wielding power with wisdom and restraint. Excalibur's enduring allure lies in its ability to tap into our collective imagination. It offers us a glimpse into a world of magic and adventure where heroes rise to meet extraordinary challenges. The sword invites us to believe in the power of myth and legend to inspire and guide us. Excalibur is more than just a sword in a story. It is a symbol that has taken on a life of its own. Its meaning is fluid, changing with each retelling and with each individual's interpretation. What does Excalibur represent to you? Does it symbolize hope and justice? Does it remind you of the importance of responsibility and selflessness? Or does it evoke a sense of wonder and adventure, inviting you to explore the realms of myth and fantasy? The beauty of Excalibur is that it can mean different things to different people. It is a mirror reflecting our own values and aspirations. It is a reminder that the power of stories lies not only in the tale itself, but also in the meaning we find within it. Take a moment to reflect on Excalibur's significance in your own life. What does this legendary sword represent to you? 
How does it speak to your own hopes, fears and dreams? Excalibur, the Sword of Kings, a symbol of power, justice and destiny. Its legend has endured for centuries, captivating generations with its mystique and allure. From its mythical origins to its countless appearances in literature and film, Excalibur continues to spark our imagination and inspire us to dream of a world filled with magic and heroism. The story of Excalibur is a story of hope and responsibility. It reminds us that true leadership requires courage, selflessness and a commitment to justice. It is a story that transcends time and culture, speaking to our shared human desire for a world where good triumphs over evil and where the worthy wield power with wisdom and compassion. As long as there are stories to be told and dreams to be dreamt, the legend of Excalibur will live on. It will continue to inspire us to strive for greatness, to fight for what is right and to believe in the power of myth and legend to shape our world.